Good morning. It's again time for our daily two-minute Bible reading and thought. I'm going to read from the 107th Psalm, the first two verses, verse 6 and verse 8. Hear the word of the Lord. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for God is good, for God's steadfast love endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Those God redeemed from trouble. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and God delivered them from their distresses. Let them thank the the Lord for God's steadfast love. May the Lord add a blessing to the word. Uh, what, what do you think of when you hear the term or the phrase uh, good delivery? And uh, it can mean all kinds of things, right? Uh, one of the things that comes to my mind, good delivery, that someone uh, went into labor and had a good delivery. Everything went fine. That's always a, a joy and a blessing. A uh, baseball fan might say, oh, that pitcher has a great delivery. Man, that guy is spot on. Uh, or you might buy something from Amazon, and you're going, wow, I'm hoping for a good delivery. You look out the one in FedEx is there three days before you expected. Well, that was a good delivery, and everything is just the way I asked for it. You see what I'm saying? But there's another delivery that goes far, far greater than that. And it's all through the Bible, all through the Bible from Genesis on through to Revelation, God delivered and continues to deliver God's own people. God delivered Noah from the flood and Noah's family. God delivered the David the shepherd boy from Goliath the giant and gave David the victory. God delivered the Israelites from slavery in Egypt. God delivered Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego from the Fiery Furnace and Daniel from the lion's den. And of course, the greatest of all deliverances, Jesus Christ on the cross. And in that one act, God delivered all humankind in the entire world, in the history, the present, and the future. We were delivered from death unto life. Man, now that's an amazing delivery. I call that a pretty good delivery. We don't have to fear things that happen in this world. It, it, things do happen, and there's no way I can make good out of famine and out of hunger and out of war and out of disease. But they don't win. Christ has made us victors, not victims in life. That's something to celebrate today. May God bless us. Amen.